Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. This is our Saturday video. Hi. And she just got up. This girl's been up for a while, huh? She woke me up. She was talking so loud. <laughs> Total sister behavior. <laughs> All right. We got packages in the mail. <laughs> the girls are going crazy. What is it? <gasps> it's the Frisian mare, Nabstrapper mare. <gasps> Who's it from? <clears throat> All right. Christina Baldwin. Gabby and Sophie, I love these horses and thought I would send over a birthday present for Sophie and one for Gabby too. Hoping you, do, hoping you don't already have these. I'll send over a letter soon from Krista. And she's in Aurora. She lives close to us. Thanks, Krista. Thanks, Krista. I love them. This package that Sophie has came all the way from New Zealand. And we looked it up on the map while you were sleeping. And how far away is New Zealand? All the way Just across the world, it. huh? Just open it. And how do you think you got it got here? Green. Right, but look at the front of it. What does it say? Oh, yeah. Just dump it out. Just wait. Oh, oh Starlight. Starlight Stable. We've never seen that. that I'm gonna awesome. buy this. Yeah, you should read that. Oh, that's cute. Let's see it. Is it spirit? Apple yeah, that's cool. Um, that's spirit. spirit with an apple. Okay, we'll read that. A cute horse with a hat on. She's wearing the helmet. Gabby. This is Samson. This is Samson. He looks like the same build as our girl. Uh -oh. oh, those are two little tiny I want miniatures. This one. Hey, I got to choose one. They're not just like though. Cute. They are so cute. cute. Turn them around here. Oh, are these miniatures? So cute. I get this one. I <laughs> love I them. I'm hanging up the spear. <laughs> so this pa this package was from Nikita, and she says the book is for Gabby, but clearly somebody else is really interested in the book right now. Okay. But we can both read it. Let's see the book. Have you guys, any of the rest of you guys read this? Starlight Stables? Oh wait, I think we all read Bush Bolts, it looks so good. Thank you, Nikita. We also got a letter from 10 year old Anne, and she sent us these cool hair bands. Look, that one matches your outfit perfectly. Oh God, yeah, and I got this one. That's perfect for your hair for at the barn. Perfect. Some crazy thing happened. They would be cool to get a pattern like that for our horse. So cute. Uh -huh. Hold your hair right back out of your face. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. We also got a letter from Wallen. And she sent us a picture of her beautiful horse, Jack. And lots of riding tips. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you guys for everybody who sent a package or a letter. Don't forget, you do not have to send us packages. That's not what our PO box is meant for. I feel bad asking you guys, or if you guys think that um, we want you to send us stuff. We uh, love your letters. We love looking to see where you're from, tracking it on our map like Sophia and I did this morning. That's amazing, and thank you so much. But they do uh, love the packages, right? Do you love the packages? Yeah. And it's Friday, but. It's Saturday for you guys, so. So. And I'm riding Riley's horse today. It's my turn to ride. I ride uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. We don't have to say our lease horse anymore, right? We can just say our, our horse, horse because she's essentially our horse for the next almost year, mm -hmm. right? And then after that, after next summer, if we want to keep her, we can lease her again. So essentially, she's ours. Yeah. The girls were fooling around after breakfast today, and I said, and Gabby said, imagine if we 
and I said, imagine if you just got your math done, and she said, well, yeah, and I said, imagine if you just got your math done, and then we got to go to the barn. And she's like, that is enough motivation for me. And she ran and started her math. Take me back ride. Oh my gosh, here it starts. I'm nervous because you're getting to play. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nope, that I did not work. I like my brother. <laughs> oh, now we have like a three girl pile up. <laughs> All on top of me. I wanted to tell you guys about Ruby. I wanted to give you guys a little update about Ruby. Ruby has been amazing has been absolutely amazing i don't know if you guys can tell but she's really good with potty she yeah. like actually tells us like last night she was sleeping on my bed and she like went off my bed and was like, ruby pack up here like normally she stays with me but she had to go yeah she tells us now okay so normally i'm the kind of person that's like oh i love that this is wonderful i'm like always saying stuff like that sam is the kind of guy that doesn't ever say that I love everything he loves nothing I think everything is wonderful he thinks nothing is wonderful if Sam thinks something is wonderful then it has to be like extremely wonderful right yeah and he loves Ruby he said this morning I cannot believe how lucky we got when we got her like I cannot believe how lucky we are because she is literally amazing her anxiety level is way way decreased she she her behavior like she just she's just wonderful now we started working with her as soon as we realized how severe her anxiety was and she responded so fast and so quick and she just loves she's just a love she's just like the best breed for us she's the best girl we got lucky with her huh yeah we did not ride her yesterday we just wanted to get her settled in and feeling good about where she lives oh. and we just wanted to let her adjust Show them the picture of her in the stall. And our coach sent us a picture last night that was her all tucked into her stall, stall last night cake. with her supper that we got ready for her. Ooh. And yeah, we're excited. We're so excited to go. Like today <clears throat> is the first official day that day she is of, ours. Because yeah. we didn't, like yesterday we just went there and, and welcomed her and, and got her settled. And today we're going to try her out and see what she thinks. Right? Yay! So, yeah, when I have my lessons on Wednesdays, then Gabby can ride her. But who can ride her? Yeah. yeah, who can Sophie ride? <laughs> That's the problem with only getting one horse. We're easing in slow, Maybe though. Maybe I can ride. But I bet you by next summer, we have two horses. Maybe I can ride Austin. Yeah, like we're not done, you guys. There's going to be more to this journey. And when we race horses, I'll ride Blue. Yeah. you were doing. Hello, it's Gabby. You know it's Greg Off. Hello, Celtic. Hello, Celtic. Hello, my name is Celtic. Hello. We're so annoying. So we just arrived at the barn and nobody's here. And what did we find in our locker? <laughs> Brushes and there's a <clears throat> there's um a curry comb, a hard brush, and a face brush. That's awesome. Maybe there might be more. Yeah. Like, no, wait, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas yeah, every Christmas. day when you have a horse. Where did you find them? Alright, so uh, Gabby and I are headed down to catch our horse. What are we doing? <clears throat> Catching our horse. Catching our horse. Anyway, my hair is gonna be crazy today. Oh my god! Because guys. of the wind. <clears throat> when Fiona cleared out our locker, I was like, she came in. And she's like, oh, is that our locker? And she's like, yep. And she's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I hugged her. I hugged her because I'm like, oh, we have a locker. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's just crazy that. We came there today and there were brushes in there for us to use. That was amazing. Yay. Anyway. Watch out for horse poop. Horse poop. <laughs> Somebody has diarrhea. That's kind of soft, isn't it? <clears throat> no, it's normal horse poop. And you just Oops. put it on my arm. Well, like, we know yeah. it's not our horse poop. Austin. 
He's like, why am I here? Where's my girl? Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm here. So okay. this paddock is where the school horses go. And our paddock, she can see us. Oh, they're looking for each other. You see her and Ben look alike. Yeah. She's standing facing him. He's standing facing her. They can't see each other. Hi! Don't touch the wire. Don't go near the wire. Oh, hello. Come on. Look, they're, all the horses are all far away because they don't want to be close to her because she's new. Come on. Come on, Sabrina. Come on. She's like, I'll come. Yeah, she can hear her boy. They must be a little bit herd bound because look at how, whoa, pure mud. Are you going to be able to do that? Whoa, whoa. So I wanted to show you guys this is going to be the outside riding arena this spring. Isn't it nice? I love it back here. It's hard to see in the camera. This is going to be the outside riding arena. So our pasture's here and right outside is the new arena and the outside arena. This is huge. So pretty. Here she comes. Yeah, she wants to get back to her friend, I think. That right there. Yeah. Oh, he's calling her. Oh, that's, no, that's smoking. Oh, he's calling her now. She looks like she rolled. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. Look at her and look at Ben. Yeah. Ben's taller than Okay. That horse is 17.1 hands high. And look at, oh, yeah. And she, like, is as big as him almost. Hello. Aw, look. She's He's like, I love her. I love her. Aww. Aww. Yeah, they are loving each other. Yeah, they're making a heart. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Abby, are you okay? She's afraid of the bridge, you guys. She's never spooked before, but... Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Okay. What would Fiona do? No, she would drag her. She'd say, that's enough. So if there's a rock there, she's spooking at everything. That's enough. Good girl. She's scared. It's a new place. So this horse has never spooked ever. He's spooking at everything. The rocks, the birds. The bridge was the big one. She's just so afraid. I feel bad for her because she looks like she's got a bite mark on her. Somebody was biting our girl. So when we got to the bridge and she wouldn't go over, Gabby was a little freaked out because she's like, oh my gosh, we don't know this horse. What if she, what if she tries to do something funny? I was like, Gabby, you need to grab her and you need to tell her, I'm the boss of you, let's go. And so I grabbed a hold of her and I said, let's go. And I just pulled her and away we went and then she was much better. Isn't that cool? Hopefully it was the right thing. Gabby. She's so afraid, you guys. I don't think she's gonna get better. I don't know if we'll be able to ride her today. Don't kiss. Kiss is dangerous. She's gonna pee. Yep, she's like, oh, I think I'll pee here. 
All right, so Gabby let her loose for a few minutes so she could see how what everything is because of the chickens and stuff. And then when Gabby wanted her, she she to her and she just came walking right over to Gabby. And Gabby you hooked know, her back up to the lead rope and is walking her around. Get. It's okay. It's okay. You want a little treat for being a good girl? Don't slam the door. Gabby's all paranoid. It's okay. She hears the wind. You're gonna be sitting in the heated room all winter? Yeah. Well, well you at least you're freezing. <laughs> at least he's coming with us, right? At least you're gonna be here. Because usually I stay at home where it's nice and warm and wrap Christmas yeah, presents. Usually I'm the one in the cold barn and Laura yeah. stays home. Yeah. Now I get to stay home and Laura comes in the barn. Yeah. Look at how pretty her trot is. how tall she is um you guys keep telling us that you have to like say good girl and show her what a good girl she is, she is when she's doing what you want and we do that and I can't believe the difference it makes So there are chickens in that in that chicken hut right there. See that building? Where they are? There's chickens in there. So she's a little nervous. Like what the heck is that smell? And what is that noise? But she's doing good. I still can't believe it's real. Like it just doesn't seem real yet. Does it seem real yet? It kinda of does. Alright, first ride. Yeah. It's freaky. I'm scared, you guys. Just because I don't know her enough. Just go slow. Like, that's... Shh. Daddy, talk it's okay. To her. It's okay. Yep, talk to her. You're okay. You got this. The wind makes me nervous. It's like, oh, yeah. So what do you think? Are you, are you good? Yeah. What do you think about a trot? Okay, let her go around the other way, the other direction. Yeah, let her go the other direction first. So she's doing really well.
I can't believe you're getting her going, Sophie. Once you figure it out, you know what you're doing? That's awesome. Oh, neat to see, eh? Touch the wire. Come she on. doesn't want to go because they're mean to her. No, hey, one of the horses bit her. Yeah, one of the horses bit her. Here, let me go. Get out of there with your boots on. Oh my gosh. Pure mud. Hey, Gabby, go. Can you? Oh Hi, Sabrina. So I didn't want you to go in there with those boots. Bye, girl. Oh, look at her. She's Bye. chasing her. Yeah. They're just getting used to who's the boss. That's mean. Get away from our horse. <laughs> Aww, I feel bad for her. She has to like get used to everybody and they have to get used to her. There's our boy though. I'm glad she's with him even though he's a biter. Don't you bite our girl. Okay? He's like, did you bring me a treat? He's like, now you got your own horse. You don't care about me. You didn't bring me any treats. That's what he's thinking. Replaced me? Yeah, you replaced me. I feel horrible. <laughs> Listen, if your owner would let us leash you, we would still leash you. <laughs> oh, we are home. It's our very first day with our with our first horse. <laughs> and how did you love it? <laughs> what can I? Did you like it? I can't talk anymore. Yes. You loved it, didn't you? So you feel like we bought the right horse? Mm -hmm. Okay, so included a clip of Austin riding as well, and I think we picked the wrong horse, you guys. Like no! Sam's like, no. you guys picked you guys picked the wrong horse. So basically, most of you guys thought Austin would be better for us. Fiona decided. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the story really quick. So basically, Fiona and I both saw the ad for Austin at the same time, and she messaged him, and then we messaged him after. And he got sold, or he got, yeah, he got sold just like that. And then Fiona was like, oh man, and I was like, oh man. And then literally the next day the lady messaged me and said, he's still available. So I went to the barn and said, he's still available. She was like, oh, why did she tell you and not me? And I was like, because I was bugging her about another horse because I wanted a horse from her. So, um... We ended up, because she messaged me, we ended up going to see both of them. And then we decided that we wanted the mare. And the reason we decided we wanted the mare is because it fit me and it fit Sophie. And the gelding Austin would have been better for Gabby. But for all of us together as a family, to suit us all, we thought that the mare would be better. All like the mare. And uh, there were, because he has issues. He has like teeth issues. He has feet issues. He has... A lot of he has to have a lot of grain and he has to have a supplement, but all turned out it's not that big of a deal. But still, we were nervous about him and we didn't know any better, so we picked her. So we get to the barn today, and I'm like, So, how did you guys like Austin? And she's like, oh, Great, I love him, I think I'm gonna keep him. I'm like, oh, What? Like, anyway, then we watched him ride, and he uh, rides, doesn't he ride? Tell them what, what you were telling me about how good he is. Yeah, he's really good. He's riding beside him with another horse, it looks like distracting the horse but the horse was all focused and did everything perfect yeah you just need to use leg and it moves the whole horse around yeah so yeah so sam's like you guys picked the wrong horse and the two kids that live at the mm -hmm. barn they tried austin last night and the older girl she's 11 she was like oh. I want him. I love that horse. And I'm like, man. So anyway, everybody's fighting over Austin and the girl that, that rides there, the, the little girl I was just talking about, um, she loves blue like Gabby loves blue. And she's like, oh, I want to ride Austin for every lesson. And Fiona's like, you gave up on blue already. I told Gabby, ouch. I said to Gabby, Gabby, they all love Austin. They all want to ride Austin. And I thought she was going to be jealous and be like, oh, that's not fair. And instead she said, oh, yes, 
and I get blue all to myself. So this girl is never trading in her favorite horse, <laughs> right? Never ever. All right, you guys, the comment of the day is gonna go to Alexia Hurdle. Alexia Hurdle said, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you guys. I freaked out seeing the thumbnail. You guys are my inspiration to have fun. Always do what's right for yourself and for others. I swear you all can't get that much better. Lots of love, Lexi. I love that comment because honestly, my motto is live your own life, do what's right for you. And that doesn't mean be mean to other people. It just means that if you listen to everybody else, then you're living their life and you're not living your life. And God has a plan for you and he has a dream for you. And living your own authentic life is what is gonna make you happy. All right, you guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we are going riding tomorrow again at the barn. We're meeting our friends there and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna play and, and we are gonna enjoy ourselves just like Lexi said. Bring Schleich. Yeah, and bring Schleich. Good night. Good night, bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.